welcome to Tip for Your Trips by Wheeler Vacations. I'm Cecilia Wheeler, and I'm here to talk to you today about first-time cruisers, what you need to know before you go. So we'll be right back to tell you all about those tips. Now, while I'm gone, click and subscribe to us, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I hope you clicked and subscribed to us. Now, let's talk about first-time cruisers. You know, it took me 17 years to get my husband to go on a cruise. And then one year I said, you know, just go on one and I won't ask again. He did. And you know what? He got off the cruise, enjoyed himself so much that he booked six in a row. So, first-time cruisers, get ready. These are some wonderful tips just for you. So now you're booked. Did you get your travel insurance? Oh, this has saved us so many times. And watch another episode where I explain the different types of travel insurance and why it's important. Payment schedule. Did you make your deposit? And now your gratuities, your drink packages, your excursions, all those things uh, can be done in an easy one, two, three. All you have to do is ask your agent. They'll help you through every step of the process. Also, download the cruise app. Every cruise line now has a cruise app that will help you keep track of your schedules and understand what's going on, all the activities on the ship. Get your e-tickets and your luggage tags because you'll need those to get on that ship. And if you have questions, ask your agent. They'll be glad to help you, direct you on doing that in getting those luggage tags and e-tickets. Now, be prepared and be ready to get on and have a great time. Now you're ready to go, what do you pack? Most cruise lines allow two pieces of luggage plus your carry-on, but check first because every cruise line is different. Now, what to pack and what not to pack. Mm. These are some important points to think about to pack a non-surge adapter because not all cruise ships have enough plugs for you to charge every piece of device that you have. So pack an adapter to where you can plug in more um, devices. Also, waterproof cases. Here's one I can show you right here. I put my phone in here because on some of my excursions there's water that it can get into and also even about the pole side at the on the cruise ship protect your device also wrinkle release okay wrinkle release very very important to have because you're not allowed to have an iron don't pack an iron they will confiscate it wrinkle release is the best way to keep your clothes looking fresh and ironed now, you can send out your laundry on the ship, but it's an extra cost. This wrinkle release works great. So pack some of that. Also, a jacket or a rain poncho, because weather permitting and you're out on the seas, you never know. Take a jacket or a rain poncho just in case. Something that's easy that you can hold up and put in your backpack when you're out on your excursions. A C-band. If you have seasickness, or if you think you may have seasickness, take a C-band. Now, the cruise ship does have a clinic that you can go to to get things like that, but why do that extra charge? Go ahead and get one for yourself. Have it on you in case you have any issues. Since you haven't been on a cruise before, you never know. Also, a highlighter. Where's my highlighter? I have a highlighter right here. My highlighter. Because a highlighter is very important to have when you are planning your day. The night before, um, every night, they put on your bed uh, your schedule for the next day, the different activities going on. So you use that highlighter to mark and check on those things that you really, really want to do and don't want to miss. Highlight them. A sun and bug. Oh, suntan lotion? Yes. You need suntan lotion and bug spray because some of those excursions, 
you will have bugs and you won't have access to getting any. So get some bug spray and some sunscreen. Uh, Clorox wipes is another thing to have. A lot of places now, even though they clean your, your entire cabin as an extra precaution nowadays, take those Clorox wipes, wipe down things to things that won't be touchable. Use those in your hand sanitizer. Don't forget that. They do have hand sanitizer on the ships, but when you're off the ship, you might need it on your excursions. A lanyard. Now, not everybody likes to use these, but they do sell them on the ship, or you can buy them earlier, you know, before you go, to keep your cruise card in, and then your hands free. So this, this is very good. Mine's blingy because I like bling. But you can pick whatever color and style you want. Formal and themed attire. Now, not every ship has formal nights, but depending on your cruise, you will have uh, one, two, depending on how many days you're traveling, several days of formal wear. And they have a formal night of pictures where they put out backdrops of all kinds of scenery and you dress up and you get your picture taken. Now, they also have a captain's night, a captain's dinner, which is very formal. So have formal wear and themed events. Sometimes they have a pirate event or a 70s event or a glow party. All these types of events are fun and people dress up and go to them and there are loads of people having a great time. Water and boat shoes. I always pack mine because of two reasons. On my excursions, on the, I don't want to hit, I have a funny thing about heat, so I don't want to have to worry about stepping on something I shouldn't step on. Also, they're really good for on deck because sometimes they pull deck, water splashes out and that pull deck can get a little slippery. So pack some water shoes. Now things not to pack. Don't pack an iron. It'll get confiscated because irons are not allowed on board. A hair dryer. They have one available for you in the room. You don't have to pack a hair dryer. That's extra luggage you don't need. Now alcohol, food, and beverages. Now snacks. You can do prepackaged snacks as long as they're sealed and you can pack those. Alcohol. You can bring a bottle of wine on, but they will charge you a corkage fee, and every cruise line is different of their charge. Um, beverages, they say no to other beverages like Gatorade and water and things like that. They want you to buy it on the ship or in your, in your cruise package or your drink packages. So be careful about that, but you can do snacks. Keep that in mind, especially for those who have a gluten allergy and it's going to be hard to find uh, gluten-free snacks, pack them. Also, um, obviously, weapons and sharp items. Don't pack those. They will be confiscated. Drones will be confiscated. And beach towels, you don't need. They provide them for you. They provide them for you to go to the pool. And if you have an excursion, they have a stand. Uh, as you're getting off the ship, you can take one of their their towels and bring it back. Um, also, keep in mind that if you have a medical device, like a CPAP machine or a nebulizer or anything like that, there are forms to be filled out prior to traveling that need to have submitted and approved where they won't confiscate it. They will allow it. They will allow it, and actually a lot of them will even provide water for you for your CPAP or BiPAP machines. However, you need to have approval, and you need to have that those forms put in for that. Um, there are also allergies and things like that. You can have that all done ahead of time, and that your waiter will have that in the system when they pull up your name. And there's more to that. If you have any questions, I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer that. Yay! It's cruise day! It's ready for you to embark on your wonderful cruise. Now, these are some tips that you need to know when you are there at the port. Parking. Parking, there are a couple of options that you can do. Now, I prefer to park at the port because it's easier, it's quicker, and it's a little more expensive, but 
it is so much easier. You have people who can help you with your luggage and you just park in the garage and go across to the port. It is wonderful. Now, there are other options where you can park and ride that are a little cheaper, that are further away, but those are options to think, consider as well. Also, getting onto the ship, make sure you have your luggage tags all on your luggage and your go in your scheduled time where you don't have to wait in longer lines. Everybody has a scheduled time. Go as close to that time as possible. It'll relieve a lot of stress and pressure. Also, your carry-on. This is important. You don't get your luggage right away in your room. A lot of times you're still cleaning the rooms while you are embarking onto the cruise ship. So you'll get your luggage that day, but it won't be right away. So if you need something like uh, your suntan lotion or your medicine or um, a bathing suit, if you want to go to the pool or a change of shoes or anything that you might need during that time period while you're waiting to get your luggage, put it in that carry on and carry it on with you. Also, your documents, like your passport, your vaccine um, card, your testing, your e-tickets, all those things you need to have with you with embarkation. Even if you're going to put on some luggage, that's fine, but keep your carry-on all ready with the important stuff that you need before you get to your luggage. Yay! It's time to get on the ship. I love cruising and you're going to too. But first of all, when you get on that ship, go activate your cruise card. On the ship, they don't use your regular credit card or cash. They connect your credit card to the cruise card and that is what you carry around and use to buy things in the gift shop or an extra special cocktail Anything like that is going to go on your cruise card, which you'll get billed and get that bill the night before you get off the ship and you'll have to pay whatever extra charges you put on that cruise card. But that cruise card needs to be activated before you can do any of that thing, those things. Now, now that you got that activated, go explore the ship. There's so many different areas to see. You want to know where everything is. So when you have an activity announced, or you have an activity on your list to do, you know where to go and you're not scrambling looking for it. Go explore the ship, see what it's all about, and then check your room. But your room will not be available right away. Usually it's after you guys actually start sailing that your, your room will be available. Different cruise lines are different, but you will Go and check out your room. Make sure everything's okay and you have things you need. Like if you needed extra pillows and they're not in there, you have time to address it. If you want something special, if you needed a special refrigerator for medications or things and it's not there, you can go and address it. Go down to the um, station in the beginning and ask for it. Or if you see your butler or your... Um, a caregiver in the hallway, ask them. They can help you get what you need, but check on it as soon as you can because it might take a while to get those extra items that you you were missing. Uh, the safety drill. Now, safety drills are done differently on different ships. They used to all be everybody got on the ship at a certain time and they went into a certain spot and they listened to how the use the life jackets and so on and so forth now a lot of them still do that but a lot of them do it online so you either do it on in your room uh, with a video that you have to check and sign that you've, you've watched it or when you're doing your check-in you have to do that so look and see what type of safety drill you are required to do but they will have you sign off on a safety drill listen for announcements there are announcements all the time, but we need to know if there's something important. So pay attention to those announcements. Um, they're important for you. Now here's a few more things to know. Dining. There are different options that you can choose from. Now on some cruise lines, they have a set dining time 
assigned to you um, in their main dining room. However, there are also dining options where you have specialty dining that you can go to a special Italian restaurant or a special steakhouse. Those things are usually an extra charge, but they are available for you. Also, if you have special needs um, for your dietary issues, they can provide you help with that and they can make sure that they prepare it exactly to your dietary needs. Don't be afraid to ask. They want to cater to you and help you with your dining options. Now, there are special nights on the cruise ship, like I mentioned about earlier about packing for theme nights. Don't miss out on those special nights. They have a lot of fun and music and lights and shows going on, even in the atriums. So keep an eye out for those special nights. A fun pass. Some cruise ships have what's called a fun pass or an extra card that for, especially for kids, that you want to do the arcade or the um, laser gun um, area. These things are extras on the ship. They are not included, but you can get what's called a special fun pass that will include a certain amount of points on it to where you uh, purchase those points and you can go and use these extra fun things. Uh, plan your day. Whether it's an excursion or you're going to stay on the ship, there's lots of activities. Never a dull moment. Lots of activities of things to do. So plan your day where you don't miss anything. Uh, phone. Your phone. Put your phone on airplane mode and connect to their Wi-Fi. But it's important that you put your phone on airplane mode. So don't forget that or you'll get these roaming charges that are really expensive. I also would suggest before you go to contact your bank, your credit card, and your phone carrier and let them know that you're going to be traveling out of the country or where you're going because it, when those charges come up, they might stop the payments or decline because they didn't know that you were traveling these places. You need to let them know that you're traveling. Uh, also, remember that there's a clinic on board if you happen to get sick or have any uh, headache or anything and then you need something um, medically, it's, you have a clinic on board. Uh, the stores and the casinos will open after you're offshore. So don't expect to walk on the ship and get to that casino and go shopping because it doesn't open until you are out in the water and offshore. Authorized taxis. When you are getting off that ship and you're going to an excursion, if you need a taxi, use an authorized taxi. Some people have gotten into some mistakes because they didn't use an authorized taxi from the, all the cruise port area. So make sure you used an authorized one. Shopping seminar. You wouldn't think I would want to go to a shopping seminar, but I'll tell you what. You can win lots of prizes at these shopping seminars and you get discounts. You get coupons to use on your shopping while you're at the cruise port. You get all kinds of special uh, ideas about what places to go and what are safe, what are not safe. And to keep up with all the uh, charms that you get, that you can get at each port, all these shopping seminars, they are fun but also very informative and important to go to. Okay, now let's talk about excursions. Oh, they're fun. Now, before you go, it's better to book your excursions before you get on that cruise ship because they're cheaper if you book before you go. They go up a little bit when you get on the cruise ship and book them. Also, remember that there's gonna be lines to get off and lines to get back on the ship. So allow time for yourself to get to your excursion and get into that line and allow time for you to get back on that ship. You don't want to miss the ship. So allow time to get back on that ship. Also take mask and hand sanitizer. Some of the ports still require mask and some vendors still require mask and hand sanitizer is for your own protection. Take cash, poncho, 
a dry bag if you're going to go to like the beach you know and you want to change clothes you have something that you can change into take all those things for you depending on what you're going to do i would always take extra cash in a dry bag and a poncho you never know you might get caught in a rainstorm take your cruise card your cruise card is very important to get on and off now not all ports require you to have your passport but some do so require see where that port requires and but always take your cruise card that's what's going to get you on and off that ship now your cruise is over so what do you do now you disembark disembarking there's two ways to do disembarking you can do self assist or assist now the self assist is where you take your luggage and you take it off of the cruise ship and you don't you don't have any help and you can get off and with your own stuff now they those people will be called at a certain time to go and get off of the ship with your carrying your own luggage now the assist is different the assist is the night before they bring you tags to put on your suitcases and you have to pack your suitcases and set them outside your cruise cabin door for them to pick up. If you do this, I would suggest having your carry on as your clothes you're going to put on that morning and all the things that you need to wash your face and wash your teeth and all those things into that bag and you carry that one bag off as opposed to all your luggage but remember that you have to pack those the night before by a certain time every cruise line is different as to what time but they have you pack your luggage and set it outside your cabin door and then they the um, uh, people on the cruise ship will come and pick it up and put it down and then you will pick it up off of the cruise ship and you, there are carriers out there that can help you put it into your car so the other thing is final payment if you made any extra charges say in the casino or you did some shopping on on board or you had a specialty drink or added an excursion while you were on board all those things will be on this final payment which they will give you the night before and you have to go down to the desk and pay for it before you get off that ship now check it very carefully some people have had good prepaid gratuities and then were charged again for gratuities and things like that now as an agent i can go in and fix that and get your money refunded and get it reviewed. Now, uh, sometimes you'll argue with them at the desk and it, it doesn't always work. So it's good to get an agent to help you and be there and help you through that. But check your bill. And don't forget breakfast. You can have breakfast on the ship before you get off. You can do it in the dining room or in the buffet. You can get something to eat before you have to get off that ship it's not over until you're off so enjoy it now you're ready to cruise so are we bill and i are going to go on a cruise this week we're going on a 12 day cruise and you will get to see lots of ports and lots of excursions and lots of video about the cruise ship and more we will be posting those when we get back but Stay tuned, like, and subscribe to us so you don't miss any of the exciting places we're going. We're going to Aruba and Panama Canal, Costa Rica, all kinds of places. You won't want to miss it. So stay tuned and like and subscribe to us below. And we'll see you real soon. Bon voyage.